Hey everybody, I figured I would do a quick video on um, my Remix. Uh, yesterday, I shot, I think my fourth or fifth um, 22 uh, long rifle match. Um, and like most of my other videos, I try and find uh, a topic that there's not a ton of information on there. Uh, the Remex specifically, there's not a, a great detailed review. Um, and so I'm going to do my best since this uh, rifle is already in the chassis. Uh, but I thought it would give you guys kind of a rundown. Um, so far, this chassis or this uh, Remex action has been absolutely flawless for me. Uh, through the the five uh, matches that I've shot, I think um, it's been three PRS style matches and two NRL style matches at this point. Uh, I think I'm a little over 2,000 rounds into this Remex. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'll slide the camera that way uh, and we'll talk about the action first and then maybe talk about the mags and um, some extensions. So here we go. So you may or may not know, and I'm trying to remember what uh, updates that I've given, but um, this is my Remex here. Um, there's no mag in, empty, safety's on. Um, so this rifle is set up um, nearly exact to my um, centerfire rifle, my 6GT. Uh, the only difference is being, uh, obviously, the action is different. Since I've put the new Gen 3, the scope would be different. So this is a Gen 2. My centerfire has a Gen 3 on it. Uh, and then the other difference really is the, the barrel. Um, and it's because this is a much shorter barrel. It's an 18-inch. And it's also a competition contour. Um, and we'll kind of talk about that. But... Um, the Remex is made by Zermatt Bighorn. Um, it's always kind of confusing which one they go to. The Remex used to be a separate website um, for them, but now it's all on the uh, there's a, the Zermatt Arms uh, website. Um, and so you can see, uh, compared to a center fire, just like a lot of the Voodoo's, the Bergara's any 22. Um, it's a shorter throw. It is a 90 degree bolt throw. Um, I'll pull the bolt here in a second, but this um, is very much like um, my origin action um, from the way it kind of looks, feels, runs, all of that. Um, there is an, in, uh, it's real short. Uh, it's probably three sixteenths inch to a quarter of a integrated bolt lug. Um, that, that goes down into the chassis here, uh, fits uh, Remington 700 style footprints. Uh, I do have the same, um, uh, you're gonna hear my wife and kids upstairs, uh, the same uh, trigger tech diamond that I do have in my center fire. So all the, the Remington 700 footprint stuff the same. Um, I believe it comes standard with a 30 MOA rail. I think you can get uh, 20 and a 40 it just depends on where you where you buy it from whether you buy it from Zermatt whether you buy it from Altus or you know any of the other um, I'm gonna say PRS oriented um, web uh, web retail stores so this one did come from Altus um, it was the way that I bought it um, because of availability at the time I bought it uh, as an action separate of the proof prefit. The guy called me, Altus has been phenomenal to work with. The guy called me and said, hey, do you want me to go ahead and install the prefit into the action? Uh, he may, I'm, I'm assuming, I can't remember, it's been long enough ago. Uh, he may have charged me for that. I know that it comes with um, some head, head space gauges with the, the proof prefit. And I said, yeah, just go ahead and do it. I don't have to worry about it. So it came, um, essentially is a barreled action to me. Um, <clears throat> but the, the bolt operation, in my opinion, super smooth. Um, you can swap 
don't know, I'm twist it too hard. So you can swap any of the, the, the bolt handles out that uh, Bighorn offers for their center fire actions if you want to match exactly um, your uh, center fire to the Rimex. Now I have not done that. This is what came on it. Um, the Neuralings a little bit more aggressive than it normally I'd run on a, on a center fire center fire rifle, but I have not um, really chosen to 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 trade this off. Um, it has been perfectly fine for me. I don't even think about it when I'm running the bolt, but. Um, I'll flip it over probably before we're done, but it does have um, uh, the the release bolt releases just like the other center fires from from Zermart. There's a little side push there, and uh, it does have. I don't know if you can see it in there. It does have a mechanical ejector uh, in this here. So just like their center fires, I'll have mechanical ejectors. Um, I know that there's. I'm gonna say some videos uh, by a couple shooters that don't have the Rimex and they're just going all word of mouth. They're talking about this ejector chipping. Um, I don't know, I've never had a problem um, with that. So I don't know how true their hearsay is, you know, when somebody's trying to validate what they shoot or not. Um, you know, they, they hear something and I think it becomes a bigger issue, even though, you know, their voodoo is, is having other issues. You know, let's be honest, these are machined pieces. Anything can break on them. I mean, even the highest um, grade custom actions can have failures. I have not. This has been flawless for me, like I've said. So um, as far as the bolt head goes... It is, for all intents and purposes, um, a floating bolt head, I guess you could call it. Um, you know, it's it looks like, you know, the same 700 style pin. Um, the takedown's nice uh, on this, so it's easy to get it to, to line up. This pulls right out. You can see the firing pin there. I will do, let's see, where's my camera? See if I can do this. See if I can get it to focus in here. Maybe. Let's see. Bear with me. Get it to focus. You can kind of get an idea. And so there's a this little replaceable part, which is nice. Flips over the rim of the case because it is controlled feed. You cannot single feed this. And then there's this other. Um, spring part here that works with the mechanical ejector that captures the other side of the rim and releases the other side of the rim. The firing uh, pin hole that's there and then just, you know, raceways, you can see the fire, there's a race wave and you can kind of partially see the firing pin and uh, these run on the, the side rail. So it's like, it is like a two lug bolt uh, for all intents and purposes. You kind of see the, the back end of that guy there, so. Um, uh, one thing that I really love about, um, Zermatt, um, bolts, same on their center fires is this just spins, uh, I don't know, like 10 degrees. You can see it comes right off. The nice thing about dry fire on this is this pin. Let's see if I can do it pretty easy here. Just comes out. There's a there is a little notch that's here that that pin firing pin slides into but when you go into dry fire it's real easy to to take this out so you don't uh, keep blasting this against the back of your um, barrel wall there um, the breech face I think is the, the more appropriate term um, but very very uh, serviceable from this standpoint I will put that back together on camera um, but try and give you guys a couple, a couple different wor uh, looks. I do know in some of the like specifically milled chassis, uh, the tang, uh, here is a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can see that the tang is a little bit different. It, it you couldn't tell, uh, in this particular, um, MPA chassis, 
uh, the foundation I did try it in that was specifically milled for um, the uh, the Zermont Origin action. Um, there's a little bit different tang profile. Um, I mean, I could have definitely run it that way. There was just a lot more material up high, and it kind of looked funky around uh, the safety, uh, but really nothing different there. Let me see. I'm going to flip it over. You can see the other side. There's not a lot to see, and I'm going to wrap this video up here real quick. But Oops. <laughs> My uh, Arca, homemade Arca Mountain Vice. Um, here, vice clamp in here, so I'm going to spin it. Um, so you can see the, the bolt release that's here. Um, that's my shot timer, which there's a video on. And then, I mean, it just looks like a 700 action from this side. So uh, the last thing that I'll tell you is, maybe I'll flip it back this way here. So um, I love the mags. So these are billet um, aluminum. Uh, super sturdy. Uh, the, the bottom plate here is uh, also uh, milled aluminum. It's pretty light. Um, and you can get, they do make, uh, which I'll show you a different one, Zermatt does make a billet aluminum uh, extension for this, um, which I didn't buy. I bought a 3D printed from MKM, which I'll show you. But um, it seems like all of the Voodoo guys are jealous of this mag. I've not really played with Voodoo. I know guys that shoot them. Um, but uh, they're always impressed by this. Uh, the one really nice thing that they thought about is the mag catch that's here uh, is adjustable. So I can tune it right in uh, to my chassis system. Now the MPA uh, and the new MDT's uh, chassis will have an adjustable mag catch built into the, the, the chassis. Uh, but this is nice because um, it's that they've actually, Zermont's actually built it right in with a little uh, Allen screw uh, into the magazine. And so fitment uh, is super, super quick and um, it fits tight right up in there and still gives plenty of room to get positive seating. So um this one just so you can see it so this does have 12 um rounds in it um the tabs that's the push down tabs that you know to kind of help feed as you're going down to not get uh, over rim issues um does tuck below but the last couple you can just grab you know like a one of the already um inserted 22 um to help push and feed that last one in there but I'll rip two. You can kind of see, you can't see the tabs here. I'll take two out of this just so you guys get an idea. But that's what it looks like when ten's in there. So you also always know, like, if you have ten in there or eleven or twelve, because it, it's always going to look the same from the outside. It's not like a solid mag where you're hoping you loaded the right amount in there. Uh, but this is the mag extension from MKM. Um, Super happy I've dropped these on the ground several times, no issues. Um, real easy to install. So, but, um, so yeah, so if you're looking for, let's see if I can get down here. Uh, if you're looking for, <clears throat> I want to say, one of your few options, uh, I think, you know, there's Voodoo, Remex, and there's, a, I believe, a, a newer Canadian, I think Canadian made, I want to say custom action uh, versus going to, you know, the Begaras or, or um, some of those other ones or sticking within something more production like a, a, the CZs. Um, I've been really happy with it. You know, everybody has their own opinions. Um, it's been flawless for me. I know there's a couple other guys that, that I shoot with that have had uh, the Remaxes, they've been super happy. So ask me any questions in the comments below. Um, I'm having fun doing these videos, so um, it's always a positive boost for me. I really don't get a whole lot of negative comment. Like I said, I you know, I'm not pretending to know it all. I'm just kind of sharing some of the stuff that I'm finding with my journey with you all. Um, 
it's fun to see um, people subscribe and watch. So I'll keep putting out uh, content and uh, hoping I'm going to shoot uh, actually two NRL 22s. I shot one yesterday. Um, probably my best match performance. I ended up second with a with a 460. So my scores kind of creep up because um, my mental errors go down down a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to shoot the same course of fire and hopefully uh, grab a little match video and maybe we'll have some match video content on the channel for you guys too. So, um, so that's Remix. Have a good one.